We're about to change the oil in this cooling tower and we're changing the oil in a Amarillo right angle gear drive. We're using this uh, industrial gear loop 220, ISO 220, a GMA grade 5 EP. About five and a half gallons is going in the gear drive. We are going to set that into um, hand or local. And we're gonna hit run. that fan blade should be spinning let's go check it we got the fan running in low speed about 20% uh, so let that run for a couple minutes let the oil warm up it's been 15 minutes we're gonna hit stop wait for the VFD to wind down and we're gonna switch it back to remote all right back to remote now we're gonna go to the cooling tower and lock out the fan. Back at the north cooling tower. Looks like the fan blade is completely stopped. Here's the main disconnect for the fan motor. Just gonna shut that down and lock it out. The right angle fan drive. This is the fill valve right here. And on this side is the drain. Uh, we got the main valve right there, but our ball valve right here is what we actually open to drain it. This does not feel warm at all, but I'm sure the oil warmed up a little bit after 15 minutes. I'm going to remove the oil fill cap so there's no uh, vacuum so we can drain a little bit faster. And I'm gonna put the phone away just so I could capture it all and open up the valve 100%. And boy, does this stuff stink. They weren't lying when they said it's some skunk oil. It's almost got like a grit sound to it coming out. Should be about five and a half gallons right there. Time to fill. I'm gonna pull out that sight glass and try to clean it on the inside so we can uh, get an accurate reading once we fill this up. Sight glass actually looks pretty good, but I'm glad I pulled it out anyway just to get it a little cleaned up. We got the drain closed and capped. We have the, uh, the sight cleaned and fastened and we have the funnel ready to go and we got the oil in the sun trying to warm it up a little bit so it flows a little bit better so we are gonna start filling this five and a half gallons let's go So I'm filling up the last gallon here and I'm starting to see some oil in the sight glass. So the oil change is all done. I made sure to tighten this cap right here, made sure that the valve is closed and also the sight is good and tight as well. So we've been letting it run for 25 minutes. Time to shut it down and set it back to remote. And then we're gonna go check the oil and check for any leaks. Look at that, beautiful. It's like the drain cap is dry. Looks like the sight is dry. And it looks like the fill cap is dry. 
and the fan doesn't even feel warm at all so for the next tower I'm gonna let it run a little faster and a little longer to let it heat up and hopefully the oil will drain a lot quicker it took a long time to drain that oil also took a long time to fill it uh, thanks for watching thanks for joining along that was my first time changing the oil on the cooling tower so I'm pretty pumped about that I think it went pretty well didn't spill any in the water all right thanks guys